they just love being around each other. They love basketball, surprisingly, they love practice. And coming here is a breath of fresh air for everyone to get in there and just play. Coach said in the locker room one game that let's all hop on the W train. And that was after our first win, our first game, 1-0. And then if you stay on that W train, then you can go all the way to Breslin. Before the game, sometimes we might say like, let's get this dub or get the W. So it just gets us super excited. Just use some, like our own little like word for the team. We're so committed that we made our group chat called the W train and has just stuck. And it's a, something we say every practice that if you want to be on the W train, you got to do this. And why are you doing that? You want to hop off the W train? I feel like with everything, there's always individuals who win, individuals who lose, and those who lose, how can you turn that into a positive? And I want them to want to win. Hey. Get past, AJ! Hey. It's just great to see so many kids come out and you get to coach them and you get to uh, ref their games. Our whole team has been going here since, since, mostly since elementary, so we know all the kids in the community. So when they look up to us, it's like, it's something special. And I know once we all graduate, we'll still be, we'll still know everyone. It's fun to watch and see like what, what's coming, knowing that we have like a strong basketball history and that they're going to be the ones to continue after us, so it's really cool. I got to know a lot of the kids, and I still talk to a lot of them whenever they come to the games. They either run up, give me a hug or something. It's pretty special. When they were little kids, they did that stuff with the varsity players, you know, and to them it was really cool, it was a big deal. So now it's their turn, um, you know, to kind of give back to the community. It's not just about the varsity team, it's about, you know, JV, freshman, eighth, seventh in our youth programs. So we've really, the kids volunteer to help. They don't, I don't have to beg them to come and help us out. We have these cool bracelets that the little kids can have to know that they're like connected with the varsity players and know that they're similar and we're all in community. Good pass, Sean. It's not all about myself and what I can do, but there's other people that I have a really strong impact on. So my actions on the court, if a little kid sees me swearing or doing something wrong, that's gonna impact them and say, oh, Jordan does that, then it's probably cool. But if I keep my composure and they see that strong character, then it's a good, better influence on them. For the kids, we want to look like uh, good sports. You know, we want to be role models for them. So if you're going out there and you're cussing or whatever, then you, you're not setting a good example for those kids. Little things like opening up the door and just so they notice that like we're being nice and just being a good person. Coach always tells us to show our community where we're from, that we represent County Christian. We always have Christian as the biggest word on our shirt because we want to we want to be Christians on the court and off the court. Wins and losses, they're important, but they're not the most important thing. How do you deal with adversity? And you know, what lessons do you learn from being a good teammate? And how do you deal with a loss? Or, you know, how do you handle even your wins, you know, without being too prideful or whatever? It's more about what can basketball teach them for their life and what can they take from the competition that makes them better people, better husbands eventually, and better siblings, better sons, better members of the community, better members of the church. So there are different things that, you know, you can take from basketball into their life.